Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today I am proud to announce the public release of my new lights config for the SRP map as well as how to install this properly so we don't have any issues with the install. So, how can you install the light config? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this link which is going to be in the discord at the end of this video and what we are going to do is we are going to download our new ext underscore config. It's going to tell us that there might be a virus and we are going to keep this. Now keep in note, I am going to open this by hitting show in folder, which is what's bringing me this window here. We can now get rid of the Google Drive. And this is where we need to understand something. Our folder we need is in Aceto Corsa content tracks Chautauqua Revival Project Beta extension. Now a big thing here is some people try and put this in their Aceto Corsa documents folder. This has to go into the Steam Aceto Corsa. As same with all of your mods, guys. Nothing goes into the documents. It all goes into Steam apps, common, Aceto Corsa, content tracks, a Toko Revival Project extension. If you go to install a file and you are seeing documents, Aceto Corsa, content tracks, that's wrong. It needs to be Steam, Steam apps, common, Aceto Corsa, content tracks, a Toko Revival Project beta extension. I know I said that a couple times, but it's a big issue. There's a lot of people that don't do this. So, because this is the stock ext underscore config and I'm not going to be using it again, I'm going to right click this and hit delete. The reason I am so conveniently and confidently hitting delete is because you can re-download the map and pull that file from it very easily. The next thing we need to do is drag ext config 4 into here and we are going to take that out. It will not read if there is other stuff at the end of this or the name is changed. Your map will be black. It will not look good. You will not be happy. So what did we do here? We went into a set of course, a content track, a Toko Revival Projects Beta extension. We deleted the ext config. We took the one we downloaded it. We dragged it into here and we took out the brackets. Now this is going to work. I have full confidence this is going to work. Everybody is the same for this. The next thing that I'm going to do is go into weather effects. Personally myself, I'm going to be on SOL for this because I like the customization of SOL. And I just think that I can make the lights look better with SOL than I can with peer. Strictly due to the customization options. If you are on peer, don't worry. It's pretty much plug and play. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to apps. Now, if you are on peer or you're on SOL, this does not matter. You are still going to enable all of this stuff. All of those apps, guys, everything here, just enable it. And I'm going to show you why right now. So let's go ahead and load into the server. We've gone over our weather effects. We've gone over the lighting. We've gone over the config. Now, let's go over what we need to do in-game to make this look the best. And just a quick sec while we load in here, I'm going to turn off the mic for about 15 seconds. Alright, so we are almost loaded in here. Now while we load in, I would like to say thanks to everybody for following my channel, my YouTube, my Patreon, joining my Discord community. It's really nice to be able to help so many people out. So we can see here, yes, white lights are now working. And they look pretty decent for me on my end, right out of the box. I'm not even too worried about fixing any of this. So real quick here, what I will show you is something called SOL Plan Selector. SOL Plan Selector, not Planner, 
SOL plan selector and right here I can change the brightness of all of the track lights. Now what this is going to do is affect what comes on the ground of all these lights. It's not going to change the physical brightness of the bulbs. This is going to change what is displayed on the ground from anything that identifies as a track light. Things that might identify as a track light are things like your tunnels, your bridges, your parkades, anything that corresponds essentially with lighting up the track, okay? Now in here as well, we can turn on my headlights and I can turn up or down the brightness of the car headlights. Keep in mind, this is going to affect every car. This is not just your car, this is also the traffic cars. So keep in mind, if you do a change this a bunch, you may experience headlight problems from other traffic cars. And then we have headlight range. Let's take a look at my headlights down there. Right, this is normal lights, this is high beams, and keep note of how far they go. Let's turn this up to 400%. And now look at how far the headlights go. This guy's kind of in my way. Let's go back to 30% and we'll see how little they go. See that they're just right in front of my car. So for me, I usually like to run around 200% because I do like to get the nice lit up way down the way there. As you can see, my headlights are coming on and off of the bus. All right, perfect. So we've gone over that. We've got the light config in and we know how to adjust the light config. So real quick here, all I recommend you do is once it's installed, just go for a quick drive down the street and see if everything is looking good for how you want it to look. Now I am using SOL right now. I don't have my clouds customized, but if I want to remove clouds with SOL, you can open up SOL custom weather. And I want to show you guys something here that is absolutely massive. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on here and we'll take a look at our weather effects and we're going to see 1.6 milliseconds of CPU time on average here, maybe 1.8 being used. Look at my graph, it's really, really inconsistent. So we're going to hit SOL custom weather. We're going to watch the SOL implementation drop by about 90% and then we are going to turn down all of the options in here. Now this might, except for that one, that was one of these. Okay, there we go, that was the level. So let's turn all of this down. And if you're still with me here, the reason why I'm doing this is to remove any pre-rendering or any sort of rendering that might come out of any of these settings. So let's just go ahead and do this real quick. We'll do that, we'll do that, and we'll do that. So now we have no clouds in the sky and our render latency has just improved from one thing by over 80%, okay? So this is the type of stuff that you can look at while you are in game trying to get better FPS and more consistent FPS and have a better graph. For me personally, I have found a graph like this where my CPU is much lower than my GPU having a strong GPU here this is a really good example of a smooth game. My game is running full smooth. I've got no issues. My FPS is basically locked at 143. And I have dynamic shadows on. I got dynamic headlights. I'm running some of the highest graphic settings that you can run. So if anybody wants to learn a little bit, there you go. There it is. This is the light config. This is a little tour of said light config and also a little bit of graphical discussion there on how to improve some render latencies. And keep in mind, mine is going all over the place simply due to me recording in high quality right now. Normally it's about half of what you see. Have a great day everybody. I hope everybody enjoys the lights. That's the install guide. That's how to work them. That's how to adjust it to your liking. Everybody's different, all right? So if you plug in these lights and it doesn't work for you right off of the bat, please don't get discouraged. Try and mess around with some settings. Try and change your brightness of the lights on the track. Mess around with your bounce light settings. There are settings that you're going to have to change to get the optimal result. As with anything, as with any other day, 
Stay gaming, everybody. It's not about what you got. It's about how you set it up. Just because you don't have a graphics card doesn't mean you can't run some nice white LED lights. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you out there on these streets.